Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we're going to talk a little bit more about rosemary oil and is there an issue with having too much rosemary oil? Stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show, where Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. So we've done an uh, episode on rosemary oil and it's been well received and a lot of you had some great commentary to, to make on that. And certainly after that, on my feed, I'm getting a lot of information on rosemary oil. It seems to be everywhere right now. It seems to be the in thing and I didn't know it was such a, such a big thing. And so I thought, look, it was worthwhile making a follow-up video because whilst I'm all for natural uh, therapies and remedies, I think there can be an issue if you take too much of something. And so I wanted to use rosemary oil as an example of this. So rosemary oil in itself has no major issues that I'm aware of. It can't cause any direct problems. But by applying too much of rosemary oil, you can have some issues as well. So the first thing I want to say about rosemary oil is that it is an oil. Okay, and an oil by definition is a large molecule. If you look at the chemical structure uh, of any oil, it's a large chained molecule. And large molecules by definition do not penetrate through the skin. So the relative absorption of any sort of uh, aspect of that is going to be very limited because you need small size and certainly small weighted compounds to be able to penetrate through the skin and oils are generally not going to do that and we know that essentially because on our skin and hands you know we can apply creams that keeps the skin moist it doesn't absorb necessarily into the skin and go into the system and into the into the bloodstream and the same is true with uh, rosemary oil the actual act of massaging on the scalp will help promote blood flow and you know maybe that's potentially one of the mechanisms of why it's so effective or why it's gained garnered a lot of popularity. But one of the points of caution that I do want to make is that there can be an issue with applying too much oil too regularly and one of that is that it actually coats the surface of the scalp. On all our scalps, we have a composition of a variety of different things, dead skin cells, and within that you've got bacteria and also fungus as well. And we know that, and the, the body's quite hardy and is able to tolerate that, and uh, you know we can, we can clean that off. We have shower, we, sham, uh, we shampoo our scalp, and it cleans the surface of the scalp. But if you apply a lot of oil on a regular basis, what you potentially do is you trap that layer of bacteria and fungus and that can create a larger colony within the scalp and over time can cause further scalp irritation. Now this by no means is going to happen to everyone but I do want to sort of caution and say look it's not the panacea it's, you know and ev everyone shouldn't be applying uh, a ton of rosemary oil or any other oil for that matter on, an, on a regular basis. Oil is good. Keeping the scalp healthy is excellent, but too much of something can cause problems as well. So I hope you just keep, uh, keep that in mind. Be mindful of that and incorporate that into your practice. Like I said, I think the act of massaging it onto the scalp is also going to make a big difference there. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.